ComfyWise brand new native cloud is out in beta for us to test. So forget downloading massive models or being constrained by how powerful your local computer actually is. You can get this set up in a matter of seconds and start using the largest, most powerful models out there to generate some amazing images and videos straight away. We're even able to use closed source models like Sora 2 and VO3 straight away. So if you want to get outputs that look like this, Let's jump straight in and see how to do it. Now to access ComfyWise Cloud, what we're able to do is come across to their website. To launch it, all you need to do is press launch and it will take you straight through. If we come down here, we'll see exactly what's included at the moment. They've got working anywhere instantly, ready to use models, fast and stable, simple pricing, and much more. And if you're wondering how much this costs, it's only $20 a month which yes, may sound like a lot for another subscription and something you can run locally on your computer, but actually because we get access to that A100 GPU, which is one of the best ones from NVIDIA, it actually works out incredibly good value for money. To show you this, I'm just gonna break it down quickly against runpod.io, another very popular platform that covers how you can run it on the cloud. Now, to use that exact A100 model on RunPod is going to cost you around $1.74 per hour. Yes, it's not a direct comparison because this is using 80 gigabits of VRAM instead of 40 from ComfyUI, but it's going to be more than enough for most of us using it day to day. Now, if we compare that $1.74 per hour versus the ComfyUI plan, we can also see that we can use ComfyUI for at least eight hours per day to generate AI videos and images. And when we break this down, this means if we've got eight hours per day, say we've got 30 days within a month on average, that's 240 hours per month. So if we do $20 divided by the 240 hours that we can use it for, it gives us a cost of 0. 083 dollars per hour to use ComfyUI, but that also includes ten dollars of api credits that we can use with more of those closed source image and video models like sora 2 or vo3 that we can't natively use and install like open source so if we were to take the ten dollars away from that and divide ten dollars for the subscription pure subscription costs by 240 hours it brings that cost down per hour to 0 0.042 dollars per hour which is massively cheaper compared to platforms like rumpod.io to be able to get the outputs and it's not like you're compromising on anything because we'll all still have the latest available models to be able to use they're gonna roll over any additional credits that you purchase it's already got 200 pre-installed models. It already has the most common custom nodes already installed. And all of the data is encrypted and only visible to us. Now, if you're wondering what's actually included in this, if we come down here, they show all of the image models and video models that are currently supported. So we've got Gwen, Stable Diffusion, ByteDance. We've even got Sora 2 in here. We've got Kling and many more. If you've got lots of questions, definitely check this section here. And they've got a quick demo video down the bottom. So to access it, we're going to come through and launch ComfyUI. Now, if you haven't seen this email come through, you won't be able to access it straight away because it's in beta testing at the moment. They've actually got a wait list for people being able to join. So as we've been accepted, we're going to just make sure that we log in with the right account. So now we're going to go through and log in with a few details. We'll say we're new, personal products or hobby. I'm just going to do, we're in fine art illustration. And then we're going to do video or animation. Just simple starter points. What this will do is if we've been accepted into the beta testing, we're then going to be able to come straight through into ComfyUI Cloud. That's how quick and easy it is to get set up 
in their instance. As we can see here, we've now got some templates to start off with. This is the same if you used the RunPod version or the local free version on your computer. You'll be very familiar with this if you've used it before. If not, the way that we can go through and find the image and video generation tools is by using the tabs on the left hand side here. So first of all, we're going to have all of the open source models here, and then we can connect our API keys after that to use some of the closed source models. So if we wanted to use the open source image models, we click here and now we can see that we've got Flux, we've got Dev, we've got Chroma, We've got lots and lots of different ones. Gwen, we've got context on here from Flux and lots and lots of other ones we're able to use. And if you're wondering where all of these models are coming from, they're being imported from platforms like Hugging Face. And what this enables us to do is find all of the open source models that should be available in ComfyUI. But the really great thing about checking on here is they should have the README files, which covers a lot more in depth around how to get the best outputs possible. So for example, on the left hand side here, we're able to see that it's got text to video. We should see here that we've got lots and lots of different ones, including the one at 2.2 text to video, which is T2V 14 billion parameter model. So this is the biggest and best version of one 2.2 for us to use. So now if we come back across to ComfyUI and we come down to video, we should see in here that we've got one 2.1 alpha, we've got one 2.2, we've got the 14 billion parameter model that we just saw previously, and we've got lots of other ones that we can choose from in here. Now, if we want to generate maybe some audio, we can come across into here. We've got stable audio, A steps, and a few other ones to get the outputs. We can do the same with 3D models as well. So we've got good options starting off with to get some basic image and video generation going. Now, if you want to access the closed source versions, we've got one of 2.5, we've got Seadream, we've got Google's Gemini, we've got some of the later, more powerful versions of Flux. If we come across to the video, as we can see there, we've now we've got Sora 2, we've got ByteDance with Seadance Pro, we've also got one 2.5 and a couple of other ones in here for us to be able to use. The same with the 3D API, a couple of different versions in here. Now let's go through and actually see how it works. So first things first, I'm gonna come up to image. I'm gonna find where we've got flux context because this is a really good one for us to be able to use. There we go. We're gonna click on this one. We're gonna see that we need to subscribe. We're also gonna get $10 in monthly credits for our API models. So think of it as we've got $10 for the subscription and $10 in credits. We're going to do subscribe. So there we go. We're now all logged in with our Comfy UI credits added in. And as you can see here, it's now running in the background. So what we should be able to do is if we come through and do run. So now it's downloading the different models for us. So as we can see here, it's now 100% complete. So it's going to go through and install everything for us. If you've checked out my other video using rumpod.io, this is going to be using a similar command probably in the back end, which is wget, download all of the models locally onto their instance for us to be able to use. We just need to come down here and activate this second node. So now we're going to do run and it should be able to go through and generate that very image for us. As we can see here, having loaded all of the models, it's now going through and gesting these two starter images into here. It's now taking our prompt of using this elegant style, create a portrait of a swan wearing a pearl tiara and lace collar, maintaining the same refined quality and soft tones. We're going to get the output here. And now, as we should see, that's the final version that we've got access to. So that's how quick and easy it is to get set up using ComfyUI Cloud to start generating some images. On the model front, we can click on the left-hand side here, and now we're gonna be able to see all of the possible different models that we can include. And if we wanted to pull these into our current workflow, we just need to click on them. And then as you can see here, it's now pulled into our instance for us to be able to use it as and when we need it. On the left-hand side, we're also gonna be able to see any of the workflows we've got and we can go back to the templates. So now I'm curious to see the video model. 
we're going to come down to where we've got the WAN 2.2 billion parameter model. And in this use case, I'm just going to do text to video. I'm really curious to see how this performs because this is the main use case that I find is really cost effective for being able to generate lots of videos on here native. For today, I'm just going to do run to see if it's able to load that first instance. It looks like we're waiting for that machine like before. It may already have these models downloaded, judging by how quick it's already started the process. So it seems like they've got some that are pre-installed, ready for us to use on the cloud server, versus as you saw previously, we would have to download that Flux model for us to be able to use. It is going through incredibly quickly though, which as we would expect from the A100 GPU from NVIDIA, it should be very powerful for us to get the outputs really quick and easy using Comfy UI. As we can see here, it's going through the first case sampler to be able to get the first iteration before we refine and improve it on the second. And then we should get the output on the right hand side here. And there we go, we've now got our video back. So I'm going to come down and play this and we'll just see how good it is. I think that looks incredibly good for how that response came back. I'm just going to test it out. So we're going to use our timeline prompting, which is a great new technique to get some really good outputs. Definitely check out my other video on how this works. We're going to re-execute this process. And now it should be able to go through and generate our very own new video for us. It should be generating that first scene for us. Then the second part, as you can see here, improving the quality over time. And the reason for this is because we're going to that next step, i.e. improving the quality of the output. And what this enables us to do is the more steps in the process, the higher the quality of that video is going to be. So think of it as, you know, a low amount of steps is like having a foundations, whereas if you have a high amount of steps, it's going to have the foundation and then build on top and then add on top and so on and so forth until we get that final output. So as we can see here, it's managed to improve it already. So there we go. We've now got it back. And if I just come down and press play, let's check it out. And there we go. As we can see, the action figure is able to lift off and then start flying away. It does go through a window, which is a bit of a problem. So we'd be able to refine it. But to think how cheap this was on four steps versus having much higher steps to get the output. So for example, if we wanted a better quality image, we would be able to say that we wanted 30 steps and we were going to add in here 30 steps as well. We would do the first part is one to 15. And then the second is 15 to 30. So now if we were to re-execute this step process, we should get a much better quality output without going into all of the extra settings that we've got here. But the trade-off is that we're going to have to wait a little bit longer to get this response back. So there we go. We should be getting that updated response back now. And if we do play, There we go. I think that second one looks a little bit better. I'm not sure about the puff of smoke at the start, but just to show you again, let's go through and give it a third example. Again, using that timeline prompting technique, we're running it in the background here. And if you're wondering how long this takes, it was around a minute for each of these to be generated. So it was 47 seconds for that second one, 52 for the first one we had and around 23 seconds for the images as well. So now I've upped the number of steps. We've said that we're going to have 30 instead of four. So we should get a much higher quality output later on. And there we go. So now if we give it a play, let's see what we got. So it's not perfect, but again, we can go through and refine that prompt to get it exactly what we want each time. I really like the second part of it where we're able to demo the toy on a table. I think that's much better than the first part. It looks a little bit soft. So that's how a lot of you will probably already be using Comfy UI already with the ready to go free and open source image and video generation tool. But what we can also do is start to use some of the closed source models. So if I come back down to templates and we come across to, for example, image API, we can find here where we've got Google 
Gemini, we can click on this image here. As we can see, this is going to cost us 0 0.3 per 1000 tokens. This is the same as if we come down to here and we do the video APIs. So if I was to do Sora 2, as we can see here, this is going to cost us 80 cents per run at the moment. What you'll notice is if I change the settings as well, so we actually want it to be HD and in more of that 16 by 9 format, it's now going to cost us $4 per run. If we up it from 8 seconds to actually now be 12 seconds as well, we're going to go up to $6 per run. So now let's go through and give them a test. In this use case, I'm going to come down to here, and we're just going to come down here and find VO3 image to video. What we we'll need to do is make sure that we upload an image on the left hand side here. So just command and then B and it will activate this specific one. We'll be able to give it a reference image in here. So we've uploaded our new image. We're going to come and paste our command in here. I'm going to leave the negative prompt for now. We're going to say that we want person to be generated allow. We're going to say that down here instead of the fast model, I actually want 3.1 generate, which is their highest quality model for us to be able to use. If you're wondering how many credits you've got left up the top here, we'll be able to see our credit balance and they've got the pricing in here, which I'll include linked down below so that you can find how much it's going to cost for each of these more premium models for us to be able to use. So now let's come back across to our environment. We're going to press run. And now what it should go through is start generating that video for us straight away. As we can see here, it's now going through, it's taking us around 30 seconds to generate this. So there we go. We've now got our video back. So let's just play this. And that's how we're able to go through and use Google's VO3 model within here. If you're wondering how much that cost, again, we'll come up to our credits. So that meant to generate our little video there, it cost us $1.60. And this is really good because VO3 is normally around 75 cents per second. If we were to use it with Google's Vertex AI or Google's Studio to be able to get the outputs that look like that. Now let's come through and try out Sora 2. Now, because Sora 2 is incredibly hard to work with at the moment for providing reference images, we're just going to come back and turn all of these off. What this will mean is we're doing more of a text to video generation. So I'm just going to paste a prompt in here, all around maybe a nighttime serum. So maybe more of that product demonstration. Again, we're just going to press run and now it should be able to go through and execute this process for us. Is still a staggering six dollars to be able to get this output so we're definitely paying that premium price to be able to use Sora 2 Pro. So we've just got our output back and as you can see on the left hand side here it took almost 11 times longer than using Google's 3.1 and almost two and a half times faster than our upscaled one 2.2 14 billion parameter output. So let's see if waiting was actually worth it. So there we go. I think it didn't quite nail it, but it's probably a seven out of 10 for the quality that we got back. And that's how we're able to go through and run lots and lots of different models within Comfy UI. So who would I say the Comfy UI cloud is really for? Well, first of all, I would say is anyone that wants it to be set up and use it nice and easy. The second part is if you're actively generating, especially AI videos or images over five to seven hours per month you can't run comfy ui with the big effective models locally on your computer or you want to be able to run the latest and greatest models anywhere at any time i definitely recommend checking out comfy ui and to be honest for 20 dollars a month i think you're getting a really good deal if you're generating lots of images and videos to use externally let me know in the comments below if you want us to show anything in particular around comfy ui Stay tuned for more around AI automation and have a great day.